Hey everyone, welcome back to more Sh Shogun 2 Total War Tosa campaign. Last time, we uh, took this island right here. Pretty well, I might add. We didn't lose that many troops, as I thought. So we're just gonna repair here, heal up the troops, and take this last island that's over here. Um, well, yeah, we're gonna, I'll just leave my ships there. And while that's going on, we're still uh, building our buildings here. And just, you know, getting ready for the inevitable grand war that is to come. You yeah, know. Um, yeah, do the farms. Why are we doing shipyard research? Um, let's see, what should I do next? Um, I think I'm going to do the Revolver Cavalry, something to do. Alright, I think we'll end our turn now. Yeah, you don't want to start steamrolling to the east until you're ready. This is why you probably want about maybe two or three armies ready before you start heading either east or west. In this case, east. Looks like the Geisha leveled up. Just put this skill on her. Yeah, there you go. Alright. So now we've encountered the Edo. Oh, looks like Edo have been busy. And looks like the Sioux finally got destroyed. Alright, we got our trading port in Bison. But we still gotta wait to build this because we haven't even gotten the event. I don't know why. Usually it's come by now. Oh well, doesn't matter because we need to build up these buildings anyway. Alright. So now we're going to have these guys. Alright, that should be good. Yes, my lord. As you command. Yes, these guys are going to be mad at us. Just deal with it. But, we can recruit three guys, and we barely had enough money to recruit three guys. So we're going to head over here. Ready for orders. See how many troops they have over here. And we're going to end our turn. As you can see, we're making quite a bit of income. Five th over 5,000. So, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. and Bison, so that's good. So now we can get our Tulsa Rifleman. So, oh, here. Finally got the Foreign Veteran new uh, agent I can show you. Basically, the Foreign Veteran, um, when you put him in a city, whatever troops you train, I think, come at a discount. And he also gives experience to the army he's in. So, he's very, very useful. Um, so right now we're gonna want our Tulsa Rifleman. Alright. It is an honor to speed going. Alright, looks like this city is not very well defended. So we're just going to bring in the troops here, declare war. Don't even quest allies. These guys are shogunate, so it's not doesn't matter. Alright, so we gotta wait one more turn. Alright, anything else we can do over here? Um Oh, by the way, just an FYI, I might cut it later because mostly after I take that island, most of the what I'm going to be doing is building up. So I might just play on my own, you know, build up the armies and then resume from when the armies are completed because it's just basically me waiting turn after turn, building troops, and basically you probably should know how to do that, so I don't want to bore you by we, me by you watching me do that, so it's probably what I'm gonna do. But things could change, but that's most likely what I'm gonna uh do. You know, 
save some time. Ooh, it looks like their ship actually tried to bombard me. I don't know if they succeeded. <laughs> the Wakayama. Oh, look! The British have finally come. So, we will accept. The British units are pretty good. Um, their marines are like second best and their ship is the best, but very expensive. So, we'll keep that there. Um, but we can't build the British Trading District because we don't have enough money. So, so we are just gonna... Um, so we're just gonna wait. Well, while that's going on, I am gonna bombard this. Cause some casualties. Um, I'm gonna do exactly what I did last time. Because it's spring, so I won't even take attrition. So, it doesn't matter. Alright, those guys will gradually go down in anger. So, let's end turn again. Oh, by the way, yeah, Wakayama's this little, little red speck here. Alright, um... Just like last time, I'm gonna do this battle. You know, just so you guys... You know, so you guys need something to watch, and... This, I guess, will maybe make up for me skipping a bit in the coming time. So, give you two field battles in a row. Because who doesn't like people getting slaughtered, shot, bombarded, slashed, stabbed, uh, trampled, you know, the like. Godo, Battle of Godo, 1866. All right, we got. Let's see, so we got Yari Key. Sabers at the ready. Put the sabers with the general. Yari Key. Yeah. We might actually move my guys forward because. There's a hill in the way, and I don't want them attacking downhill. So, my guys are pretty much where they should be. Alright. Today, sir, we defend! my guys actually run because I want that um, height advantage so I'm having them all sprint to their destination yeah I will take its time of course hey look there's the town in the background or the city that's nice Just like below the peak, so I'm gonna let my guys move up a bit. I don't know why my guys aren't firing. The enemy 
route so that wasn't really hard I was kind of you know I was kind of disorganized in that my flanks weren't really good for charging speedman but we still won alright we still killed most of the guys so we won the island so now we've got the whole entire west pretty much under imperial rule. We have half the prop total victory provinces. Um, 36, and we have one listed victory province. Like apparently one of the shogun or imperial guys captured the provinces. 36 out of 50 are loyal to us, so we're on our way and we're almost to where the war is about to begin between the entire war. So, but I think we're going to step here. So, like I said, from here on out, I'll probably just skip ahead um, building armies and stuff and I'll just resume when my armies are complete and I'll tell you what I did and such and such. So until next time, this is Sign 879, out.